here's my uh, charging spreadsheet that I created in order to use um, the new charging box that I have on order from Progressive RC. I configured it with the 406 Duo along with the meanwhile 1500 watt 24 volt power supply. So let me show you how this spreadsheet works. The sheets along the top, I have several of them and the first one to look at is the configuration of the battery voltages. Here I have voltages for LiPo as well as LiFi. I do have a LiFi pack that I've used to, um, you know, uh, work on the configuration of my my T-Rex machines, the, the ones with the 7200BX. So I use that on the bench. The next sheet over has the configuration of the PAL supply, the wattage, as well as the voltage. And the meat of this spreadsheet takes place here in LiPo charging. And you can see I have it titled LiPo Charging 406 Duo, la la la. Anyway, along the top here, you can see the voltages for LiPo Pack. If I come down here and set the series down to uh, one, you can see it changes with the total number of packs that you have in the series. So we'll set this up to six for the first example. 5,000 milliamp pack, those are the packs that I use on my Goblin. And I have several other uh, capacities created here. So we'll select 5,000. And the number of packs in the stick are two. So then you come down here to the C rating at what charge, which basically is the charge rate. And you can see I can adjust it accordingly uh, by tenths just to really play around and see what, I, what my charger can and cannot do in terms of combinations. Everything highlighted in yellow are the items that you modify. Everything else is calculated. So as an example here, if I come down to um, 1C, you can see it's 10 amps taking up 277.2 watts. Now this capacity right here has to do with the total capacity of the charger and it's a function of how much wattage is being utilized on the other channel combined with the channel here. I have flags set up such that if I exceed the charger's uh, wattage capability, then these highlight in different colors. And if I exceed the channel wattage capability of 1,000 watts, then this will change colors also, just to warn me that I'm exceeding the capability of the charger. If you scroll down just a little bit here, you can see I have those values set up in this table down here. And the 406 Duo has a 1400 watt maximum total. So I'll max out the charger before I max out the power supply. In synchronous mode, it can pump out 70 amps. In asynchronous mode, it can pop out, uh, pump out 40 amps. And on each channel, the total power is 1000 watts max. This table over here shows you how much wattage is configured uh, through these two tables up top and shows you how much current is going to be drawn from the power supply. So in a sense, it's basically the wattage also of the power supply. That's why it's listed accordingly. So let's go ahead and play around with this. Let's see if I, if I come up here and let's say I typically charge at 3C. Okay. And then I come down here and I already have selected three packs at 1350 6S. These are the packs I use for my GAUI. And you can see I selected 5C and it, it'll utilize 20.3 amps for a total of 561.3 watts, which is crazy. For a total of 1,392 or 93 watts. And that is really close to maxing out my charger. But I can come up here and I can actually tweak this and oops, if I go 0.1 rate over, notice that I'm taking up, uh, I'm utilizing 859.3, which is more than the capacity on that channel right here, all right? Actually, it's more than the, uh, yeah, it's greater than the available capacity on, on the channel, the given capacity, and the same thing down here. So I can come back. Let's see if I come up here. Um, Let's say I want to add another pack. Let's see what that does. And clearly you can see it's way over capacity. And down here, the salmon color indicates that I'm over capacity on the charger. What this allows me to do is it allows me to run different charging scenarios 
so that I can really get a feel for what I can and cannot charge. And I got to tell you, it's actually really helpful, really helpful, because I can now run the scenarios accordingly. And, and that's the whole benefit of having a dual channel charger. I don't think it's really a capacity thing. I think it's really a flexibility thing. Clearly, the more capacity you have in your power supply, the more capacity you're going to have in general. But these dual channel chargers give you the flexibility to charge different kinds of packs. And that's really, um, that's really what I was after. So if I was going to charge up, let's say, two, um, you know, 5,000 packs, my other stick pack, okay, I clearly couldn't do it at 5C. Um, first of all, I'm over the 40 amp max on the channel. That's the salmon color. Uh, given this calculation here produces 1,386 you know, watts, um, well over the 1,000 watts on the channel here. Crazy. And that puts me over here on, on the wattage over here. I'm greater than the capacity uh, for this given channel based on what I'm running on channel two. So we come over here to the C rating, and let's see if I can pull it down until I max it out. And all the numbers are calculating. You could see that. Let's keep going. I know it's got to be something less than three, right? Because I just want to have the capacity up. Oh, I'm down below 70 amps, which is my total max of the charger. So I'm getting warmer. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going, right? This bottom number here is out of the capacity of the charger. So I just keep clicking away on the C rating. Up, oh, there we go. So the maximum that I can do is 3C on my first channel. And uh, on the second channel, the max I can do is 2C for 5,000 packs. And that maxes out my, my charger. So I just wanted to show you uh, the spreadsheet that I, that I developed. If anybody wants a copy, this is a number spreadsheet that runs under OS X, but I'm sure that you can import it into Excel and it's a very basic spreadsheet, really. It's, there's nothing crazy with buttons or scripting going on, none of that. So um, there we go.